this is Randy Hacker with Waterline Boats, Boat Shed Seattle. Today we're looking at a 1974 Sampson Sea Stroke Catch. This is a Faro cement that was professionally built by the current owners, original owners, at the beginning of 1972. The boat was launched in 1974. Great fanfare, uh, complete with the hull, decks, and cabins, tanks, and engines. Uh, the design of the boat is quite classic quite bright and roomy down below. And you can see from the um, exterior here, we have a solar panel, a full heart dodger, and bimini enclosure over the wheel station, and this cockpit area that's quite large. Excellent for entertaining in the summer months. Let's take a look forward and walk up our nice wide side decks here. Uh, this is looking under the bimini hard top. Going forward. Very large side decks, nice cabin roof, giving graceful lines throughout the whole boat. This boat displaces 80,000 pounds and will provide a very comfortable, very seagoing hull. Uh, again, we're rigged as a catch rig. We have our two head sails there. One's 80% and one's 120% jib. Looking aft, we have the dinghy that is coming right up here. Hard bottom dinghy that's great for rowing and just going ashore. Two solar panels help keep the batteries charged up. Going back, looking into the cockpit here, this is fully enclosed. Now going below, uh, we're going to go down the companionway directly into the um, consider the navigation wheelhouse, and you can see the visibility from the windows below. Uh, this on the starboard side, there's a little berth that provides. This view, and if you're reading or just a little nook right there, it's just very, very cozy and comfortable. Uh, looking to port side, uh, we have our electrics and controls and stuff. Our navigation station is located right here. A uh, place for your laptop and other navigation equipment. And there's looking out the side port light windows. And we go aft and down a couple steps. We actually go into the owner's stateroom located aft here. Beautifully finished uh, with a leaded uh, window in the stern window. Provides lots of storage for uh, all the stuff you need for extended cruising or live aboard. Now just forward of this aft stateroom uh, we look into a actually tool room uh, workshop. So lots of storage Advice, uh, stuff, all the stuff you need for a long distance cruise uh, to be prepared for any type of uh, emergencies that might come up. Looking to the port side, uh, we have these cabinets and they actually provide uh, storage for your charts. We go up a couple steps back to the wheelhouse navigation station. And again, here's our electrics, our engine information center. To starboard is the galley. Nice deep sink here. Uh, the galley features a nice refrigerator, microwave, an Arctic diesel stove that doubles as cabin heat. Uh, in the summertime, there is a alcohol stove uh, that you'll use for food preparation. And going forward, or before we go forward, let's take a look over on the port side. Uh, a dining settee there. Quickly looking around back at the galley. The uh, storage area above is a custom cabinet, uh, leaded glass as well. To port the cabinet, or I should say the bunk you saw there, does pull out to sleep two more people. Okay, let's go forward here. To port is the head, which has a separate shower stall. A uh, good size head, and again, featuring a lot of storage. Very comfortable boat. You can see our shower stall that's tiled and built-in bench seating. Looking back, again, the storage and the head itself. Coming out of this compartment, we're going to go forward and look into the forward stateroom, which has got a single bunk, um, a couple sleeping bags there, and then we have a watertight bulkhead uh, forward there that goes to the uh, anchor locker. 
Again, looking back, storage underneath. Um, the boat's loaded with a lot of storage. Here's looking aft into the galley. Uh, really bright, very thoughtfully done. Uh, full details uh, for this boat can be found at waterlineboats.com or Boatshed Seattle. Uh, give me a call, Randy Hacker. Thanks for